So, I have done some digging on the movie and discovered some extra details. Here we go. Tony really loves having cheeseburgers and snacking just like his father did. I don't have to do anything. I've been in captivity for three months. There are two things I want to do. I want an American cheeseburger. Oh, I'm from the market. Give me some of that cheese I like. You know, what is it? Jenny Bacabella. These extra components were not visible in any of the past nebulas. You can only get to see them in the 2024 nebula for the first time. You can consider them cybernetics enhancement to help nebula utilize their cognitive strength faster with more accuracy. It was not shown in the movie who made these components. Perhaps it's gonna make more sense as long as nebula turns out to be the engineer. Because nebula has been portrayed as the master of cybernetics in the Marvel comic books. The spaceship over here was exposed to pin particles which caused it to get smaller. When Hawkeye came back from the past, Scott was over there with a piece of lemon in hand. Now lemon has citric acid that helps settle the stomach and decrease the feeling of nausea. And traveling inside the quantum realm has the potential to make someone feel nauseatic. Because you had to move extremely fast in numerous directions. When Hawkeye lost Natasha, he looked the other way because he didn't want to see Natasha dying over there. If you think that Thanos was a pure evil, let me correct you on this. He was not evil. He was a brainwashed arrogant. He was a titan who was conditioned to believe in the other titans including his father that overpopulation is a huge problem and it can hamper the devil development of any race. That's how he was indoctrinated into believing that the universe needs cleansing by vanishing half of its creatures. If Thanos was not ignorant, we won't have to lose our Tony Stark. In that case, there was only one possibility of losing our Iron Man. And that is a freaking 75 million dollars of wage it demanded for the Avengers Endgame. When Doctor Strange was showing his index finger to Tony, he was gesturing that this reality is actually the one within 14 million 605 realities where they have the chance to win against Thanos. That's when Tony Stark got the idea of stealing the Infinity Stones from Thanos. When Loki turned himself into Captain America to mimic him, Hulk got very confused at first and later he became more angry. This detail could be neglected very easily, yet they decided to put that in. I freaking loved it. Where is he? I don't know. He blew right by his timestamp. He should be here. Why was Bucky not concerned when Captain was not coming back from the past? There can be two possibilities behind that. Maybe Captain shared his idea of living with Peggy for decades in the past and then come back, so he was not concerned about Captain America at all. Or, Bucky knows Captain from the very beginning. He knows how focused and smart our Captain is. So, he was confident with the fact that Captain America will definitely come back no matter what happens. Hi, Sam. By the way, how did our captain become old after getting back? Well, people get older inside the quantum realm while traveling and staying in different time points. Which means your stay time is not counted, only travel time will be counted. But you're gonna grow old depending on both your stay time and your travel time. A pretty much fucked up science, right? Nebula was very confused when she came back because she was from 2014 and the 2024 version was captured inside the ship. The fingerprints on the goggles could be avoided easily because the goggles were actually CGI. Pretty impressive. Ant Man became smaller exactly when the compound was hit by the missiles. Also, a captain came back from the past with the military sunglass. Where do you hide it? In plain sight. The personal servants of Thanos always call him... But sire! Sire. Sire. Now the name Sire actually came from the English name Thanos and this English name came from the Titanian word Sionos which means the supreme leader. So Sire is actually a small part of the actual Titanian name Thanos which was used by his servants to show respect for him. When the troops of Thanos were vanishing, Ibn Imal was pointing his hand towards Thanos for the last time as a sign of seeking help. This is the only time when Ibn Imal was seen to seek refuge under the shades of Thanos. Also Proxima Midnight was holding her lover Corvus Glaive for the last time before vanishing, just like Wanda was holding Vision for the last time in the Avengers Infinity War. And these two are the ones who also assaulted Wanda and Vision in the past. Should I just call this a pre-planned screenplay or just an unusual coincidence? Why the hell Thanos is dark purple in color? According to Marvel comic books, Thanos is dark purple in color because he is an eternal divine hybrid. Eternals are a race of immortal beings created by the Celestials. On the other hand, Divines are a race of mutated Eternals. These mutated Eternals are not immortal but they can live longer than humans. They have a deformed body structure because of the mutation. This mutation also caused him to become more violent and rebellious. The dark purple color of his skin is a reflection of his power and his dark side as well as a reminder of his divine heritage. How the hell or not can Thanos speak English? Now, there's no mention in the movie exactly how he knows English, but according to some rumors, English is the lingua franca or common language in the multiverse and Thanos mastered this language when he was growing up in Titan. And this shit really doesn't make any sense considering the fact that he was 1000 years old and no one was space traveling from Earth 1000 
1,000 years ago. Like the members of the Guardians of the Galaxy, Thanos also had an universal translator that could translate English into Titanian language while listening, and again, translate Titanian language into English while responding. Thanos had the power of all speak, like the Asgardians, which allowed him to understand and speak a wide range of languages in the galaxy. There is another possibility that the movie script writers in the MCU didn't give a fuck about this theory. So, I made a small mistake in the second part of the Avengers Endgame series. It was about the science behind Pym particles. So, instead of breaking down exactly what I did wrong, I would love to explain the accurate science behind this. Let's say, there are different sizes of items in the box. If you try to pour all the items inside the same box together, they will be scattered and they will possess more space. But, if you divide the objects of different shapes, organize them and place the similar shaped items accumulated inside the box, they will take smaller space and remain condensed together. In brief, unorganized and spread out items in the box will increase the space among them and you will need a bigger box to put them all in. On the other hand, if your items are well organized and put together in a box, the space among them will decrease and even a smaller box will be able to fit them all in. Just like this, when you expose something to pin particles, the atoms and molecules of that object become organized and thus, they become condensed together taking significantly smaller space and the object gets smaller because of it. When you detach the pin particles from the object, the atoms and molecules become jumbled up, disorganized and they spread out. That's when the object or creature gets bigger and bigger again due to taking more space among them. A pretty much fucked up science, right?